Okay, in this session we are going to study SQL. Okay, SQL, the full form is Structured Query Language. Okay. So, as the name indicates, it is a query language based on relational algebra. So, if you know relational algebra, you know quite a lot about SQL. Okay. SQL has two basic parts, the DDL part and the DML part. Okay. This helps me define the schema. And this helps me to query and to make updations. Updations. Okay. Updations would include everything insertion, deletions, modifications, everything. Or it's better to write it as query and modification. Okay. The DML part is declarative. Declarative means you just have to specify what you need. You don't have to specify how you need it. Okay. SQL is going to do it itself. It is going to find the most optimal way to find your information. Okay, so that was about SQL. And SQL also is a standard. So all the relational databases, relational databases follow SQL. So when I say all, it basically means most. Okay. So now we will see how do we specify domains in SQL. Okay. As you know, every attribute has a domain, which is the set of permitted values. Set of permitted values. Now, in SQL, a domain is specified with the help of a data type. So, attribute has a data type. So we will see what data types do we have in SQL. SQL data types. SQL data types. Okay, okay. That's a bad underscore. This is better. So the first data type that we are going to see is numeric data type. Okay. It is used to indicate numbers which can be integers or floating point numbers. Right? So, how do we specify numbers? We say numeric x comma y, where x is total number of digits in the number. Okay, this is the maximum number of digits that are allowed in my number. And Y is the number of digits after decimal precision, okay? Number of digits after decimal. So, 
let's look at one more thing if I specify numeric x then y is taken to be 0 by default okay so let's suppose I want to model marks okay I suppose marks is an integer value okay it is like 10 20 30 35 38 73 so I would say marks is a numeric two digit number okay and now let's suppose I have a percentage okay percentage is between 0 to 99 okay we can have 99.99 we can have 45.32 right so I would say numeric it has four digits right 99.37 has four digits 1 2 3 and 4 okay and the number of digits after decimal is 1 and 2 so I would say percentage numeric 4 comma 2 so in this way I allow only values of type x y dot a b to be stored in percentage right next we are going to look at character strings next data type is character strings this is just used to specify strings which are of type character as simple as that so I have a name and I wish to limit the name into a string of say 40 characters so I would say name character 40 okay so if my name is Joe then 1, 2, 3, the rest 37 characters would be padded with some special values, okay? So, all the rest 37 characters are basically wasted here. They are consuming memory but are not storing anything of any value. So, for these type of things, we will use variable character called as varchar okay in a variable character I can specify name as a varchar value that is it is the value of the number of characters is varying varchar 40 so in this case my name would be stored as Cho. 1, 2, 3 and there would be a special terminating value. Let's suppose it is slashing. So I save my space over here. So when do we need, uh, when do we actually need char if we have var char? Let's suppose I have I have my PAN number, okay? I will say my PAN number is always comprised of 10 characters so in such cases I would use character because I know no PAN number is less than 10 digits and no PAN number is greater than 10 digits okay it is not basically digits it's alphanumeric okay so when I say character it can store digits as well as characters care of 10 so that was about my character string and varying character string. Next I am going to take a look at bit string. Okay. This is used to store binary numbers, binary strings. Okay. So I would say 
let's suppose I would say my my bitmap okay it is a string of say string of 10 binary digits so in a big string you are only allowed to store either 0 or 1 right similarly to the concept of var cast we have varying string okay so I can also say varying string Ten. So in that case a maximum 10 digit number can be scored and if we score only 3 digit number the rest of the space is saved. Okay so that was about string and varying string. The next data type that we have is boolean. Okay boolean allows me to store three values true false or unknown which is null okay the next data type is date date is used to store date in a particular format okay you can specify the format you want. Next is time. Time. This is used to store time. Very obvious. Okay. And it can also have microseconds. Okay. And the final data type that we are going to look at is the timestamp. Timestamp data type is a combination of date plus time or plus or a time zone. Okay. So it would have a date, it would have a time and it may have a time zone as well. Right? So I can have value like I can have value like 1995 same month is 12, date is 15 and I have time 16 hours 40 seconds sorry 16 hours 40 minutes 30 seconds and I say there some microseconds say 2 3 4 and I say plus 530 time zone of India okay so that would be the value in my timestamp okay now we will look at a concept of schema we already know what schema is right schema is the definition or not the definition it is the design of the database it is the design of a database right this design contains the definition of tables integrity constraints and other things so we create a schema using the keywords create schema. Let's suppose I'm modeling a company. So I would say create schema company okay and every schema has a person associated with that who is said to be the owner of that schema. So I would say the owner of this schema is authorization is the keyword used to indicate owner. I would say authorization 
से रॉब ओके वेर रॉब इज अ यूजर ऑफ द डेटा बेस सो आई वुड से क्रिएट अ न्यू स्कीमा नेम्ड कंपनी एंड ऑथोराइज रॉब टू बी द ओनर ऑफ दैट स्कीम ओके ऑल्सो वी हैव इन एस क्यू एल और इन रिलेशनल डेटा बेस सिस्टम वी हैव अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ अ कैटलॉग विच इज लाइक द डिक्शनरी राइट अ डिक्शनरी स्टोर्स स्कीमा इंफॉर्मेशन विच इज मेटा डेटा सो ऑल द स्कीमाज आर सोर्ड इन अ कैटलॉग स्कीमा वन स्कीमा टू स्कीमा एन ओके सो दैट वॉज अबाउट स्कीमाज